For those of you television watchers that are not sent into a catatonic state by the constant barrage of advertisements that seem to be interspersing your favourite programmes recently, you may have noticed that one particular company is constantly advertising itself. That's Made.com. It's a British company, makes furniture, serves its home market of the United Kingdom, plus some of European markets as well. It was founded 11 years ago with a round of funding of around about two and a half million pounds. The company has announced this week that it's about to perform an IPO on the London Stock Exchange. It has high hopes, around £100 million expected to float for, and even more high hopes that it may well be part included as part of the FTSE index, one of the FTSE indexes anyway. So that is quite a prestigious index to be included in from the very beginning. We don't yet know when the IPO will take place, however JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley have been called in to prepare and, sort, uh, and, and issue the IPO and from the very beginning it looks like around 25% of share capital will be available on the open market. So certainly there seems to be a trend in which high tech which has dominated the, the, the main stock markets for many many years is very very desirable amongst, in, amongst stock and indices traders is just as desirable as low tech. You can see last week that some of the clothes and furniture manufacturers are very, very volatile and very much prized by traders uh, on main market stock exchanges. So this may well be another example of the delivery orientated markets that have happened over the last one year or so have led to essential items like clothes, furniture, household goods being prized possessions.